What's up, weirdos? I think I found a, like, a villain. <laughs> There's a chiropractor on TikTok who makes videos where uh, it, do it doesn't seem like it should be legal. I don't know anything about chiropractory. Like, like the, uh, all I know about it is that there seems to be a lot of guys who are chiropractors and they post videos where they're cracking backs of young women wearing yoga pants and stuff. But that's not what this guy is. He's a little bit somehow worse. His name is Dr. Zev and he has 740. 47,000 followers. Hey, that's a lot. But what does he do? He breaks elderly women and babies and pets. That's what his channel is. It's kind of a little bit suspect in that I think that he should be a suspect and be in prison. <laughs> but let me take you to like to the beginning when he had his first like initial viral video and I'll show you why it went viral. It's not, it's not for good reasons. Has a massive scoliosis that's been cooking up for lots and lots of years. Uh, oh, oh. You. <laughs> so it's I can't I can't she's so like elderly and her body doesn't look to be in the best shape obviously her massive scoliosis I'm absolutely like is it okay to say this it's like her scoliosis is like a BBL I don't think I could say I, big butt big Brazil Brazilian backlift Got it. That's who he was chiropractoring. This video has 71 million views. And I think every single person who's seen this video is just like, Leave her alone. Because look, it gets worse. Let's let's just watch through this video before we move on to the other stuff. Up and down, up and down. Good. <gasps> Ow! And the thing- <laughs> That's insane. Because he's not breaking it. And then she goes, Ow! And then the shot continues and she goes, Oh, that feels nicer. She just goes, Ow! <laughs> Obviously, if she said that it felt good, he would have put that in the video. Wait, I want to watch that again. Down, up, and down, up, and down. Good. <gasps> Ow! <laughs> oh my god, she literally enunciated. Ow! <laughs> Wait, was that a really good impression? Can we put those back to back? Ow! Ow! That was really good. That's better than my Jeff Goldblum. Oh my god, that's a bad Jeff Goldblum. I'm sorry. Ow! Yes, ma'am. Oh, oh, yeah. Good movement there, huh? Yeah. Wow. She's just sitting there going, oh, oh. <laughs> catatonic. Grabbing this old woman, holding her like with a brace under here so we can really get her back overextended. And he's just like, oh, on top of this old woman. Like, why is he making those sounds? Oh, like it's not your back, bro. But it never feels like pleasure. It never feels like relief or release. It's always just, oh. Look at her face when he like bends her over again. Let's look at the. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She just goes, uh, that's not a good expression. But then even worse when he starts to lay her down. Uh, good movement there, huh? Yeah. Like, what is that? Uh, and her tongue is like involuntarily going like, uh, uh, laying there on her back. Uh, yeah, just please don't kill me. Begging for her life. Whose grandma is this? Whoever brought her to this chiropractor, like, bro, that level of scoliosis doesn't need some dude going, Oh, you like that? <laughs> like, that's not what your grandma needs. Also, the background, like, look at the frame in this in this shot where you see what it says, like, in the background. Reductionism, holism, natural, like, it's all, you know, the, I don't want to say pseudoscience. Pseudoscience, because I don't know if you know this. Chiropractors aren't doctors. You get a certificate of chiropractic. I think, let me double check. Oh yeah, because chiropractors do not have an MD degree, they aren't medical doctors. They are doctors of chiropractic care. That's like going to your class at university and halfway through the semester finding out they're not a professor, they're a student of education and professorial duties in the, you know, something like that. Basically, they're not doctors. <laughs> they're just, they call themselves doctors of chiropractic care, but they don't have an MD, which is a doctorate. It's literally the definition of a doctor. Can I show you this video really quick? Just quick sidebar. Ow! It's not like we're college professors calling ourselves doctors. It's not the same thing, my friend. Well, sure it is. When someone has a heart attack on a plane, do they yell out, yo, does anybody here have an art history PhD? A PhD is a doctorate. It's literally describing a doctor. Maybe let's refocus. No, the problem here is that medical practitioners have co-opted the word doctor. Okay, Captain. Now, I know we live in a world where anything can mean anything, and nobody even cares about etymology. <laughs> This show is so funny, but that scene. I know we live in a world where anything can mean anything, and nobody even cares about etymology. That is so funny. Anyways, the point is, calling yourself a doctor of chiropractic care is different from having a doctorate. They don't have an MD. They're not a medical doctor. And that's why he can have stuff about like holistic medicine while he absolutely breaks the back of this elderly woman. Let's let's finish because it keeps getting worse before we get into the other stuff. Ah! Yeah. No! Wow. Wow. 
she just continues in pain. It never cuts to her being like, oh, thank goodness, that feels so good. It's just cracks her neck, and she goes, oh! And it just, just, that's insane. Wait a second, conservative care? What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? What do you mean by conservative care? Is there anything conservative about grabbing an elderly woman's neck and yanking her across the table until her spine goes, <laughs> so it feels like conservative can only apply to Republican? Is he a Republican? Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Let's just keep going. It all healing takes time. That this is an Amazon Prime. That's how it ends. Just, you know, healing takes time. This is an Amazon Prime. Meaning that she just has to keep coming here and he didn't actually fix her. So that entire time, all of that pain, all of that <laughs> was for nothing. This is the Kansas City Chiefs. I'm not a bandwagon fan. I am from Kansas City. I was literally rooting for them during the Brody Croyle, Tyler Thigpen era. I get to rep it. I get to rep it. I have been a Kansas City Chiefs fan. I have been here. And I love Travis Kelsey. Anyways, the next thing that I saw when I saw this one and I started looking at other videos, I don't even know how to sit like. Do you want to be adjusted? You want to get on the table? Oh, yes, I can. He's ready to right, go. Here he goes. You want me to? Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. He got a baby. <laughs> He's gonna crack a baby like a glow stick. I don't like that. And you might be thinking, surely he doesn't do the same thing that he did to that old woman to this infant boy. <laughs> Ready? Okay, here we go. That's a baby. And the other thing is, he isn't saying like that this baby has something that's wrong with him that needs a chiropractor. By the way, if the baby had something wrong, you should take it to a, you know, medical doctor. Half of this is on the parents, but uh, you know, I would say maybe a little bit more than half is the guy who's going, oh yeah, let me do this to a baby. <laughs> By the way, the comment, Jada Jolly, you should be ashamed. The baby cracks sounds so cute. What? In what world, when you are fresh out of the womb, are you so downtrodden from life with so much back pain that you need to get adjusted? Are you wild? Bro is trying to speed run death. Hey, no comment, no comment. But look, there's like, this specific one is insane. That's just like, it's just a half a second shot in the video. But he's got the insane massage gun going into the back of the baby's neck. There's no way that baby isn't walking out of there with CTE. Like that baby is concussed. That's not good. You know one thing about infants? Supporting the head, making sure the head is very, you know, carefully held. There's like a lot of care that needs to be going into like raising a young child and making sure that they don't get, I don't know, an insane massage gun shot into the back of their head. And the parents were like, Oh no, yeah, give it to Dr. Zev. Bro with the giant whiteboard wall that says humanism versus authoritarianism. Do people and parents have the right to make decisions for their own health and for their kids' health? Or should the state government or institutions have the right to make decisions for them? Question mark, dot, 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 dot. Meaning basically, hey, we should never give any children the polio vaccine so they can come back and absolutely wipe out our infants. It's like, hey, you know the penicillin vaccine? One of the greatest inventions in human history that saved more lives than maybe anything else ever. Aside from finding ways to genetically modify rice so they can grow more so that we can have, you know, food in places that don't have food. The advancements of science and the, uh, the progress that's led to so many more babies living? Yeah, you know what? We should allow dumbass parents in their Facebook marketplace advertisements to make the decisions on all of our kids. Yeah, because it's called herd immunity. Anyways, I just don't like this red beard chiropractic elderly woman baby cranking jerk. I don't want to call him a jerk. Yeah, I do. Jerk. Because the thing is, if you walked into a medical doctor's office, I highly doubt that you would see a big thing on there that says, hey, medicine, the advancement of science and technology, how about I just come over here and just absolutely put you in a headlock and just go like that? And then your kidneys will not be failing anymore. Hey, you drink too much beer watching Fox News and now your liver don't work? How about I crack your neck a little bit and make you feel all better, big man? That's his vibe. And you know what? I don't like it. <laughs> I was gonna say peace and love, but I just don't like it. But if you can believe it, it actually gets worse. I, this is a baby. I don't know if I should say it gets worse, but I think it gets worse. <laughs> There you go. How was that? Was that good? <laughs> the dog is like running away like, hell no, what are you doing? Are you kidding me? Right, Jera HDZ7. The dog doing. <laughs> the dog doing. Wait, let me go get Gustav. Let me show Gustav this. Stop look right there. Good boy. There you go. How was that? Was that good? <laughs> Would you like me to do that to you, big guy? But I just, I'm gonna just grab your head like this and just go, God, just God, how about that? How about that? I'm holding Gustav right now. I gotta get him a haircut really soon. But I'm holding him here. 
And if I were to grab his head and just go like, like I can't even imagine that. He's just a poor sweet baby who needs love. There's nothing more to it. He's just a sweet young man. Your baby, your baby. And I never baby talking. Hey, your baby, and I love you so much. And you're a good boy, in my opinion. But that's me. But that's me. Uh, what? Is that how you touch dogs? Good stuff. I'm not doing that, buddy. That seems a little bit weird. Can you even see? Oh, yeah, he needs a haircut bad. Ow! Oh my god! I've never got that far in the video. I've always turned it off. I just I just hit play just to see the vibes. Do you want me to grab your tail and just go... <laughs> you want me try that? You want me try that? Now, I'm no doctor, but neither is he. I'm just kidding. I would never. Do you want to see through a kaleidoscope? Hey, weirdos. Please subscribe. Subscribe for kaleidoscope hour. Blah, 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 blah. The f I'm talking about? I'm literally acting like I'm... Freaking Bill Nye. Is that cool? Is that cool? Is that cool? In my opinion, it's cool. But that's me. I'm gonna say something that might blow your mind. It gets even worse. <laughs> feel right here in our back. You feel that bone protruding right there? We're looking for a miracle here. And then the video ends. Grabbing the neck, grabbing the bird's beak, and just going like this. Then saying, hey, you feel that bone? Yeah, that's protruding. As if he's a doctor and knows what he's talking about. By the way, as if he's a veterinarian and knows what he's talking about. You absolute nonce. Is that a bad thing to say? I, in my mind, I don't think it is. Oh! I shouldn't say that. That's a <laughs> No. Hey, British people, you just call people that? <laughs> Hey, my fault, my fault. I don't think he's that. I just think he's a dumbass. He says in the description, here we have a paralyzed quail bird that a patient brought in for help. Now, if he had actually helped the bird not be paralyzed anymore, you'd think that we would see the bird, <laughs> you know, I don't know, flying a little bit. But instead we see him ineffectively grabbing this bird and cracking its hollow bones. It's a tiny little bird and he's just going, that is insanity. Like with the massage gun on that too, it's like, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, a bird's not gonna live, bro. Now, as I had seen in like a couple of these videos and I started to like scroll through his page, I was kind of taken aback. There's some really interesting people who've made appearances on this page. I'm submitting this with no comment. I don't think that me like saying that this guy is a, a jerk and a loser means that the people who like made a video with him suck. I think they're just like, they're just in it for the vibes. Like, you know, so no hate, but you're not gonna believe this. Ow! Feel me underneath your lower neck. How far are you, mother? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that blue whale. I mean, he's a large man. It's Shaquille O'Neal. That's Shaq. The hell is Shaq doing here? <laughs> and he commented, oh, wait, I can do a really good Shaq impression. You made me feel like I could play a full NBA game again. <laughs> that's, that's not good. I could do a great Charles Sparkly impression. Any NBA on TNT fans that watch these videos? When a guy is banging you, that's a bad impression. Wait, let me show you this clip really quickly. They're talking about basketball, by the way. Joker, instead of going around him, he just banging and banging and banging. When a guy's banging you. If you haven't ever seen NBA on TNT, just look up NBA on TNT out of context compilation. It's the greatest show of all time. I, I haven't even watched the show, but the out of context compilations are so good. Oh no. Man. <laughs> uh, speaking of common, I want to- <laughs> <laughs> Like it's just stuff like that. Non-stop. Back to the video. Look, Shaq getting his back blown out by this guy is crazy to me. Roll that hip in towards me. Roll that hip in. <laughs> He's killing a Hall of Famer in front of our very eyes. <coughs> Shaq. Oh, it's crazy. Bring your head back just a little bit for me. Oh, there we go. On your back. Ooh. Look back. There it is. Sort of work more more for the neck. Wait, why did he just money shot on Shaq's face? Submitted with no further comment. What? Shaq is so funny. And I know that in his mindset, he's like, oh no, this would be like funny if I just randomly popped up in this video. Like he's a really funny, entertaining guy. But <laughs> what? Are you money shouting on Shaq's face? Now you might be thinking, that's crazy. It can't get crazier. And I would just say, tell him to bring out all the cameos. And I would just say, let's go golfing. <laughs> I'm gonna come underneath right here. That's DJ Khaled, and he just whispered in DJ Khaled's ear, I'm gonna come underneath all here. I love this. I love this so much, but he should technically be in a maximum security prison. Ah! Feel me motion. You okay you with me that? relax? Huh? You want me to be relaxed? Well, I definitely don't want you to be tight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love DJ Khaled. You want me to be relaxed? Tell them to bring out all the chiropractors. Do you guys know DJ Khaled memes? No, you guys know DJ Khaled memes. DJ Khaled memes go crazy. Roses are red. <laughs> Violets are blue. <laughs> Yo. That's what I'm talking about. That's my. Oh! 
Oh, that was an interesting sound I just made. I slapped the hell out of this ring on my hand. Oh my goodness. Oh man, but yeah, DJ Khaled videos are the greatest on TikTok. So, so your homework, NBA on TNT, out of context compilations, DJ Khaled edits. Oh! Like, Roblox, and perhaps what is this? Call me asparagus! Are you kidding me? He's a god. He's a god. Call me asparagus! Banging around on a golf cart? Life is Roblox. I know he said roadblocks, but it sounds like Roblox, and I think that's funny. But yeah, let's see him get his back blown out by Dr. Zev. I gotta stop saying that. But it's what's technically happening? Oh! Yeah, yeah, but I got you. Don't even, you're overthinking it. Let me do all the work. Oh my god. And that was the last time we ever saw DJ. <laughs> Does anybody call him DJ? Was I the first person to ever call him DJ? What's up, DJ? I don't feel like I should be that familiar with him. Mr. Khaled. Sir Khaled. But to look at the whole thing from like a bird's eye perspective, not that bird, the paralyzed one. That one's dead. But a different bird eye's perspective. One that can fly. <laughs> I'm seeing him grabbing elderly ladies by the neck and just yanking their necks to and fro -y. Yeah. And then going to the other end of the life cycle, a little infant baby boy taking a massage gun and going, vibrate the absolute shit out of your skull and developing brain. <laughs> then grabbing a paralyzed little baby quail and just going, <laughs> and then it not being able to fly afterwards. So it's not like he made it worse, I guess. And then grabbing Shaquille O'Neal and risking paralyzing one of the greatest basketball players of all time. And then going to DJ Khaled's house and saying, I'm gonna come over here on, on this <laughs> and giving maybe the hardest pop of all time to the king of pop, 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 pop. Yeah, I think that he should be in prison. And Dr. Zev, listen, medicine's real. And if you were a medical doctor, you would know that. And as far as saving babies goes, if I had to go between Dr. Zev and vaccines, you know, I would say overwhelmingly, uh, Vaccines. But today, look at how many kids there are with, with this problem and this problem. Yeah, because they're alive because we were able to save them with modern medicine, so they're alive. Because back then, without modern medicine, they passed away. It's not that hard to comprehend. The advancements of science and technology should be trusted when the results are overwhelmingly positive. And if you are a doctor of chiropractic care and you have a big old thing on your wall that says medicine isn't real and you should be allowed to... You should be allowed to... It, it gives the vibe of somebody who's saying Trump 2024. And that's... Hey. But that's me. But that's me. Please subscribe, weirdos. I love you so much. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say that's true. I think, I think, I think, I think I'd say I love you so much because... I don't know, you're cool. You're cool. Okay, so this one... I think I've already talked about all of these in the past videos. But yeah, this is a new place. I like it. I'm wearing slippers. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you can see I got slippers on. Do you have slippers on right now? Doubt it. Probably not any slippers as good as this one. You definitely don't have a football team. Oh, that was sick as hell.